Hey guys, this is R. Matthews, and today I'm going to show you some projects to do at home because we are shelter in. So here's some shelter in project that I want to work on. As you see right here, it's a shadow box. If you car lovers like to um, frame some pictures you have, or if you guys have some old calendars with some background, you're going to need that. Plus, you're going to need some some calendars with cars on it. And I happen to have the calendar with none but Volkswagens. So I'm going to show you guys how to cut this VW out and show you guys how to lower this car. If you like it lower, we're going to go do some custom. So. Stay tuned and subscribe. R. Matthews, the picture on the Start with the background. Okay, get yourself some, get yourself some poster board that is the, the size of your calendar. So cut the poster board the size of your calendar. Find a background you want for your bus or car or whatever uh, calendar you have laying around. It even works if you have regular pictures. I think I'll pick this one for the background. Let me see my plus how will it look not bad okay you got your calendar you got your post board cut almost the same size now you want to take your post board and cut each side an inch from here here inch in but you only want to cut the poster board halfway through. You don't want to cut it all the way through. So just score it lightly and then you can snap it. Do all four corners like that. Cut cut one side in, one of these squares off right here, corners off, and bend it, cut it up like that, so this way, when you fold it up, it'll be a box, okay, let me cut this off, cut one, do the same here, Okay, there you have it. There you go, you have yourself kind of like a tray. Now you want to get your background. Set it on top and make sure it's even with the box and then put the crease in. That's that one inch I told you that you had to cut. So what you're doing is the same thing, but you're not cutting it because it's going to be glue or tape on. Do the sides like that. Make sure everything's square.
cut this so you guys get an idea. Everything's fit in. What we're gonna do is tape this up. I'm just give yourself some tape and tape up the corner and make it into join the ends together. Fold up. Make it like a box. Okay, there's your there's your shadow box. Don't worry about the size because I was planning to get a a frame, and that's another video we're gonna do. Okay, we'll move that to the side. See, here's one. Okay, but this is not the one we're doing. Give you guys an idea. Okay, we'll put that to the side and this... Here's the car I'm picking. Okay, here's the bus I chose. So what you're gonna do is cut the outline of the car and try to get real close to the body line without going into the body line. Cut it all around, all the way to the bottom, right till you get to the bumper. Cut out. Right when you get down here, cut that way. Don't cut down because you want to save this. Same thing here. Cut it along the body line, right when you get around the bumper. I'm gonna show you guys how to lower this. See this, this is pretty stock height. So what we're gonna do is cut around. What we're gonna do is cut around the bumper, around the wheel well, down. Guess these are the like the rockers. Around the wheel well and around the bumper all the way under the bumper real close to it and up and over so then you have to cover this in with something but we're going to just keep it like this now we're going to cut around here save that piece because you're going to need that okay you're going to cut around the body so let's get started Okay, what I'm going to do is cut right here by the bumper. And go along the bumper line. Put and then go inside the wheel well. Get kind of tricky. For sure, if you have an exacto knife, you could do a better job, but I couldn't find it in the tool shed. So, bumper and then I'll cut across. There you go. Now you have that bottom piece. Give you an idea when you lower it. See? 
when you cut it, it was this is the original right here. Original stage. Now I want to lower the car. So you want to set it where you want it. So I can't follow the body line right there. Okay. So we're gonna lower it like this. Right there, look. Now the bus is pretty much on sitting on the on the ground. So it doesn't matter where you want it. You can go like this. If you want a low rider style, you can do this. There you have it. You have your bus cut out. You got the bottom part, the, ground, the wheels and the... Show you guys. Okay, now you wanna... Put it where you want the wheel to be for the third time. Okay, I got one side. Make sure this side. Pat down, I mean, hold down the middle and then keep the edge right here. Okay, there you have it. Flip it over. And tape it and seal it in. Come on, see what that there is in there. And alright, yeah. Okay, there you have it. Scissors, cut around here, around the bumper, and straight across right now, just in case. You don't want to cut that up yet. Same thing here. Cut around the bumper area. Okay. Okay, now you bring your, your 
shadow box back. Probably want to add a little tape here. It's coming up. Okay. Now you probably want to bend it right here where the door is at to get that that effect that is um, curved. Then you place your VW bus in. Make sure it's sitting level. And get some tape and tape it in. like that. Have the mirror out so it looks more 3D. Okay, there you have it. You got two. Let me post it. Let me um, hang it on the wall and show you how it looks. This was a prototype. I didn't do a good job. This is my second one I did, but I didn't put a frame around it. So if you cut yourself a frame, add a frame around it, or buy yourself a frame, that down on top. Okay, let me take this up on the wall or on my poster or give you guys an idea. There you have it. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Right have it hanging on the wall and somebody's walking by. That's the 3D effect. Alright guys. Here's your shelter in project. Lowering your favorite dream car without spending a lot of money. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay guys, this is R. Matthews and here I am, Shelter In, and we're going to do something different. I know we've been on lockdown, and it gets frustrating, you want to do some kind of work, but you know, you're locked in. So here I came up with this, this project that you could use your old calendar that you have laying around, or any kind of pictures. And if you guys are gals that want to do some background of anything, pictures or people, you can do the same thing. But here I'm showing how to lower your car from a picture and then put in a shadow box. And what you can do with this is um, you can change it out. I mean you can make this to have it on the wall of your workshop or your garage. Or you can have it change the box in different seasons from the calendar you have and just add, just change the background and then add yourself whatever picture you have. Okay guys, if you guys want to get more detail into this, see where all the blue, you can take a Zacto knife and cut it out. All the blue area. That's pretty tough, you know? I mean, it's pretty tricky. So you can see the background. So that would look more realistic. But for now, just a quick idea, give you guys an idea so you guys have something to do on this um, shelter in and you know, stay positive. Thanks. Put a comment in and tell me what kind of car you guys are working on and give me an idea. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, help me out and um, I'll try to push some more videos out there and thank you for subscribing.
All right, guys, stay positive, and we can get through this together.